Welcome to Reimagining Organizational Structure for Cost Savings and Maximizing Efficiencies. My name is Ted Tomoyasu, and I'm a Senior Agile Consultant with Adaptivate. With Adaptivate, we focus on helping organizations transform the way they deliver results through Agile. One of the most effective ways to reduce costs is to reduce staffing in any organization. Unfortunately, this strategy doesn't always consider how the existing work is going to get completed with fewer people available to work on it. At Adaptivate, we have had success in helping organizations organize their staffs to reduce redundant and unnecessary roles and creating workflows and ways of working that allow the important work to get done more efficiently and effectively. I'd like to introduce Shannon Gillian, one of Adaptivate's Agile consultants, to talk about the benefits that reimagining your organizational structure can bring to your organization. Thanks, Ted. One of the most exciting and really transformative powers of Agile is its ability to restructure the ways organizations are set up and how they go about executing their work. Traditional organizations have a hierarchical structure that depends on managers directing their subordinates to help ensure that projects and supporting work gets done. Coordinators are often used to manage information, dependencies, and sign-offs across siloed teams and departments. There is a lot of time lost waiting for this information to come together in order to make decisions. This leads to low autonomy and longer time to market. This illustration might look familiar to your organization. Agile takes a different approach by creating structures that reduce the amount of time needed for decisions to be made, as well as the number of people focused on getting all of the necessary information together. A strategic team is still vital to setting the vision and overall direction for the organization. In this new way of working, they are now located at the center of the structure as they are responsible for answering questions and providing clarification with more direct lines of communication. Information works best when it is not having to travel up or down a hierarchical structure through management lines. It is most effective and efficient when conveyed directly to those employees who are making the work happen. Simple cross-functional teams are created around products, lines of business, projects, etc depending on the nature of the organization. They are populated with talent across all departments that are necessary to focus and deliver on unified goals. This structure reduces the need for coordination and decision delays. In our growth team example, there is someone from sales to make sure that there is great discussion about what clients are asking for and creating alignment for what will be created and can therefore be sold. It includes a couple of developers as their skills are absolutely necessary for creation of great products for growth. In addition, people from networking and marketing are also on the team as their expertise and skills will be instrumental in final delivery of the product, project, or work. And while it's not shown here, we might also add a team member from compliance or legal to ensure we protect against any risks from the start. A couple of new positions are introduced and include a product owner who is responsible for understanding client needs and helping to set direction and priorities of all work, and an Agile coach to work for the team in developing, improving, and assisting removal of blockers or impediments that may hinder any work getting to completion. These individuals can come from existing levels and departments throughout the company if they have interest, or an organization might consider hiring from outside if the right talent doesn't currently exist. Teams are kept small, generally no more than nine people to maximize it a team's autonomy, ability to collaborate, and make decisions and progress on meeting objectives. As the organization structures their teams around the work that needs to get done, staffing with the appropriate experts and skill sets to make decisions, these new ways of working begin to regularly demonstrate and deliver work as it is being completed. This allows organizations to be able to examine progress and make changes or pivot direction quickly and efficiently when necessary. In addition, this new way of working brings focus to all efforts throughout the organization, driving toward meeting the high-level vision and objectives set by leadership. Thank you, Shannon. Please join us for further videos in this series to learn more about using Agile to gain efficiencies.